Welcome, I'm Benny Knopp from Noisy Post. After the last big update to DaVinci Resolve, I really felt like Fairlight was becoming a really good contender for Audio Post professionals. After a great meeting with a team member at Blackmagic, I've now got a direct line to their developers. My plan over the coming months is to vigorously test Fairlight on different projects, but also teach you guys how it's possible to change from Pro Tools over to Fairlight. I'm gonna give them features that are vital to our workflows, as well as testing their bugs and ironing a few of the kinks out. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not gonna be working in Pro Tools. I'm just gonna show you a quick tip on how to use RX within Fairlight. I've got a project of my own. This is the one I did the other day on speaker calibration. You can see it up here. Now throughout it, I am clicking the mouse and it's constantly throughout the video. And normally I'd leave it in because at the end of the day, I'm clicking things on the screen. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna take them out using RX, but just without a 5.1 channel. So what we have here is, can you hear that there? But just without a 5.1 channel. So what we have here, to use RX to treat our audio, make sure you're within the Fairlight tab down the bottom. So we go to our preferences menu, now, you want to make sure you're in the Audio Plugins tab and you've got your available plugins here. So these are VST plugins, AU plugins. What I'd suggest is go through that list and change the categories because a lot of the plugins uh, are put in weird categories, but also you can uncheck some of the plugins that you're not using often. I'd recommend doing that because searching through plugins in Fairlight can be a bit of a pain. But here we have our setup external audio processes. You can see that I've already added one. So all you do is click Add. Then you can name it, and I've called it RX That Shiz. Very original, very funny, ha ha ha. And then you select the application that you want to use. So this is obviously Isotope RX7 audio editor, but you might have five, six version, or you know eight, is it out yet? Uh, but you just select which one you want to use and leave that on command line. So we click save, which I've already done. So now we find our audio, which is this clip, but just without a 5.1 channel. So what we have, there's a click. So you right click on that, we want to go external audio process RX that shiz. So what will happen here, it'll send it over to RX and open it up. We just zoom in but just without a 5.1 channel. So what we have, so what we, so there's our click there. So what I suggest, so there's our click there. There's multiple ways you could do it. You could turn on instant processing with your attenuation. You could do that until you can't hear it or what I'd suggest is turn off uh, instant processing, select this area. We want to learn the noise and then make sure that output ambience only is selected. We just select that area right there and we want to render that in just without a 5.1 channel. So what we have here, all done. Now all you have to do to bring it back into Fairlight is save it. So Command S, save that. You can then close down Isotope if you want, or we just alt tab back. And when we play it back, but just without a 5.1 channel. So what we have, no click. So it's all gone. Now, if you've over processed something and you want to go back to the original audio, Fairlight's thought about that. So if you go through to view and we go down to show audio track layers, there it is. So you can see here, I've already had a play with this. What happens is it puts the audio on the top. So the next one down that's unenabled, is the audio that you've just corrected. So if you want to, you can enable that again, put it at the top, it'll work or switch them over. That's how you clean up audio using Fairlight and RX. I think it's just as simple as Pro Tools and the fact that it chucks the audio there for you without you even having to think about it is amazing. It means you can recall it later. So over the next few months, I'm gonna be doing videos within Pro Tools as well as Fairlight and I'm gonna help you compare the two because I do genuinely think that one day this could be a contender for Pro Tools. The fact that you can have an editor, animator, color grader, and a door in the one software and it work together is a game changer. And so I really think that this is the future of editing and mixing. Because it means then you don't have to be bound to your locked picture. You'll be able to go back and make edits and it's not gonna ruin your mix. So it's very exciting times. If you found this video interesting, chuck it a like, also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future for Pro Tools or for Fairlight. There'll be way more tips coming in the future. Thanks for joining me.